Listen, guys, you're going to want to take all of the advice in this video and do it ASAP, at least before launch. So this way, when the game does drop tomorrow morning, you can hop right in and play immediately with no issues. Multiverses finally is officially releasing tomorrow. And a couple days ago, I was sent an email from WB Games talking about when the game would be releasing. And I posted that for you guys. But there were still a lot of people skeptical on the fact that maybe this is just the downloadable time and that the actual launch and server time will be much later. But Multiverses officially confirmed otherwise, and we got to talk about it in this video so hit that subscribe button and notification bell because guys we're going live tomorrow we're gonna to be playing a lot of characters we're we'll playing with a lot of you guys and your favorite other content creators and pro players so you don't want to miss out on that guys raise that 38 percent even higher and now let's get into this video shout out to the multiverse's official page they said mvps tuesday is the big day figured you all want to see a launch plan for consoles we will be in maintenance mode till tuesday may 28th at 4 a.m pacific 7 a.m eastern time for PC, we will be in maintenance mode until Tuesday, May 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. At these times, your game will update or you will be able to download the game. We'll be gradually bringing players in. This will be done in waves to slowly fill up the servers. We will tweet after each new wave is about to be let in. Once we're complete, we will let you guys know. So there you go, guys. Officially, there is the confirmation that no, it's not just when you can download the game. It is actually when the servers are going up and you will be able to play. 7 a.m. on consoles. That is PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. So for PC, Steam unfortunately does do an update around 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time. That is the traditional thing that they've always done and something that player first games has to fall in line with when it comes to the way that the system works you can't bypass that unfortunately so i know a lot of people are like damn i originally was playing on steam and i want to play a little bit earlier maybe you guys took the day off in advance of this don't worry i got you guys covered on that remember multiverses is not only cross play it is cross progression meaning if you have your warner brothers account set up you should be linking it to all of these other systems wherever available shout out to nintendo maybe hopefully soon we get that but <laughs> this is my page right here uh, i have it connected to my playstation and i have it connected to my steam so this means my same account that i use on my steam that i've been playing on for two years will retain all of the skins all of the characters i unlocked and just essentially everything with the game if i log on to the playstation version and use the same wb account so i'm telling you guys right now log into i'm going to be linking in the description below log into the wb games page check your linked account i know it's been quite some time since you guys probably did that and double confirm that that is where you were playing originally if it was steam or vice versa and link these other areas of where you could be where you could play the game so this way you do this today you don't have to worry about it tomorrow when you're logging in and you miss out on one of those early waves to get in do this today i know some people are probably gonna be seeing this video tomorrow unfortunately but yeah i'll do this asap get this account set up so this way you could at least play the game early from 7 a.m to about maybe 12 p.m when eventually it does become available to play on steam now what does have me a little bit surprised like i honestly i don't know how these uh games work when it comes to switching to an entirely new engine i was under the assumption that you would have to re-download multiverse is a whole entire new thing but it looks like officially they said it right here at these times your game will update or you will be able to download the game so that means that if you already have multiverses on your platform it will just automatically do an update at that time when it comes to the console version and also when it comes to the pc version and throughout the day they will be releasing more or opening up more servers to do it in waves so this way they don't have a crash and a bunch of people are just stuck in an endless loop while some people are able to play by all means if you want to get up around 7 a.m to play try to get in if you don't get in try again to pay attention to their twitter stay locked into that they will be tweeting it out they said to let you guys know know when they will be opening it up i'm probably going to be going live around 12 p.m eastern time ish i'll probably maybe play on the ps5 version and then we can switch over to pc later when officially it drops there but i do love this era where everything essentially well most things are cross play and cross progression i think that is a really solid choice on their part being able to share the account through multiple consoles and platforms is a w now another amazing thing something that i think that very well could be happening is a roadmap now, Multiverses is no stranger to this. Whenever they have a new drop or a new update or anything is coming to the game, or specifically launching purposes, not only do they just launch the game, they show us little teases or little glimpses of what the roadmap is in the coming weeks. So this way we can be excited 
and also hyped up for future characters coming new game modes coming and whatnot as of right now they have not officially announced a roadmap at the time of me recording this video but if they do i will be making an update and showing that to you guys because we still don't know how or when agent smith will be available i haven't heard anything at all no official confirmations whatsoever on if he is going to be a launch character i assumed he was going to be because he was in the quote unquote launch trailer i felt like everybody in that launch trailer would be available and that's just how things work maybe in a couple weeks they'll probably have an event go live where we can go and unlock him because in the test build that i played there was a matrix event but it wasn't really specific on how or what the rewards were that you were going to get it just seemed like currency that you could earn from that event to use on other things now of course there will be twitch drops i have them enabled on my channel guys so if you are watching us you could actually earn these rewards i think every 30 minutes you can earn a reward after 30 minutes you can get the uh shock banner uh one hour you get the 100 gleamium and an hour and a half you get the beach volleyball garnet skin actually yeah that's correct i didn't realize that they showed that here <laughs> but in order to do that you guys are going to want to make sure that you link your twitch account to your wb games account so this way when you're watching it on there it can register and pick up that you have accumulated those time slots required to get those rewards and you can claim them whenever you get them i mean 100 gleamium is solid for an hour and of course we are going to take any skin that they offer that is a major dub and not only that guys i actually decided among a very popular request i will be doing a way too early tier list expect that to be popping up later tonight on youtube we're gonna be talking about all the characters we played against and all the characters we tried out and place them in a very early tier list which is not going to be 100% accurate, but pretty fun to go back on in a couple weeks after we've played the game, learned the meta, and saw what characters can do, and then readjust accordingly and compare the results. If you guys want to check that out, pretty exciting stuff. I know tier list can be a... Uh controversial topic but i think this one is going to be fun because i mostly want to talk about characters kits and like for example who is more easier for to just pick up and play and maximize and be really good with their kit versus characters that do require a higher execution but are still good but depend on the player and I mean, what moves you're using and if you're actually utilizing their tools to the full advantage, right? You don't want to miss out on that, guys. So be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More multiverses content is on the way and you don't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching. Your pain.